Hello YouTube. Going to be making uh, some peachy chicken today. Uh, for this you're going to need a can, uh, roughly 16 ounces of peaches, uh, two and a half pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast, a tablespoon of oil, quarter cup of frozen vegetable juice concentrate, uh, you want that thawed, quarter cup of Heinz malt vinegar, gee I wonder who made this recipe, a tablespoon of brown sugar, teaspoon of dried basil, half teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of ground cloves and cinnamon, and then an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. Um, in addition you'll want two tablespoons of cornstarch and some rice. So let's make some peachy chicken. Okay then YouTube, we're going to start off by making some world famous peachy chicken. Uh, we're going to start off by taking uh, some boneless skinless chicken breast and we're going to uh, brown that on both sides. Uh, we're going to add one cup or sorry, one tablespoon of vegetable oil vegetable oil. Let's see if I can say that right. Let that warm up a little. And what you want to do is try and coat the pan evenly with the oil. You don't want your chicken to burn and find if you just coat it really good works a lot better for you. Let's grab the chicken. Now you can use uh, anything as long as it's you know roughly two and a half pounds of chicken. Um, boneless skinless just works a lot better for me. Uh, it's a, a lot better I found at uh, making sure that you're not picking out uh, bones for an hour and a half. And now that the oil is nice and warm, go ahead and throw in. I'm only going to make three pieces today. And now that it's warm, you can turn down the heat a little bit. And in the little pieces, I'm sure my dog would like it. It's also important in a kitchen to keep your hands nice and clean. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this brown and we'll come back here in just a minute. Okay. That right there is about what you want as far as uh, brown. Uh, you're going to want to brown them on both sides and let them set for a little bit and see how it turns out. We'll go to the next step here, right? Okay. Well, now that the uh, chicken's brown, we're going to turn down the heat just a little bit. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to uh, take the reserve peach liquid, which is that wonderful stuff right there, you're going to want to add that in, you're going to want to take your orange juice concentrate,
Go ahead and add that in. Next we're going to add our malt vinegar. That's where you start getting that good smell. Uh, one tablespoon of brown sugar. It's going to be that little guy right there. We do one teaspoon of basil leaves, which is that right there. Half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of cloves and cinnamon, and an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. And I'm going to go ahead and put those on right now. Salt. Here's the cinnamon. Is the uh, cloves? We have uh, whole cloves, so I just. Uh, went ahead and crushed these up myself. If you don't have ground cloves, you can use whole cloves and just do that. And then an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. I'm adding just a hair bit more because I like a little bit of spice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cover it and let it simmer for around about 30 minutes, 25 if everything's going good, um, till the chicken's cooked. And then we're going to add the rest of the stuff. Now we're just going to cover this and let it simmer. Okay, now uh, while that's simmering and while we're getting that ready, we're going to go ahead and prep the rice. I am. I'm only going to make a couple servings. I'm not a huge fan of rice, but we're going to make it anyway. This is going to call for one cup of rice to make three servings. Now I'm also a huge fan of uh, adding a, a little bit of butter and a little bit of salt. So we're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. Or roundabout. Don't need to make it perfect for this. We're going to do half a teaspoon of salt and then about a tablespoon of butter. Once again, this is not a exact science here. A little bit of butter. Now we're going to add two cups of water to that and we're going to let that simmer.
There we go. We're just going to bring that to a boil. And after that's brought to a boil, we're going to reduce the heat. Let it simmer for about 15 minutes uh, until all the water has been used up. And then we're going to cover it and let it stand for 5 minutes. So we'll find out here in a couple minutes exactly how this is turning out. Okay, well I'm back. I know it seems like we were just together. I'm going to actually test the chicken. See, uh, and of course, it is just perfectly done right now. So, don't forget, towels are really nice. And just like that, timer shows we're done. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the chicken. And turn the... Uh, heat all the way down for now. Look at that. That looks good. Look at those three. And we're not even done yet. piece off for the dog. Okay, now what we're going to do now uh, is we're actually going to uh, take out the chicken. We're going to add the peaches. We're going to add a little bit of uh, flame to it. Get a little bit heated up. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. Try and make this into a really nice uh, uh, sauce here. There's our peaches. Let me bring that back up here. Cornstarch. little bit of water. I'm going to use a plastic fork for this. Just what we want to do is we want to get this all mixed up here. Almost into a uh, peach gravy of sorts. You really won't stir this until the uh, sauce is thickened. This is pretty thick, but on one of those I want to make sure that 
every bit of cornstarch is mixed in because no one likes biting down on a big old huge chunk of cornstarch. Yep, it is a good fork. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for now. Or go ahead and pull out a, a good plate. There be our good plate. We're going to take a single piece of chicken. First, we're going to add a little bit of rice. So I'm going to add rice onto the plate here. We're going to take the chicken. Put it right on the bed of rice like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a serving spoon. Put a little bit of the, the sauce on there with your chicken. Put that right there and go ahead and put the lid back on. And there's what you're left with. But, I'll come back and show you exactly what I turned it into. And that right there is your finished peachy chicken.